The other day, I posted a video about how to disable uh, the start-stop function in an Atlas uh, for free by disconnecting the two-prong connector on the battery terminal. Uh, now, that is something that it works. It gives you an error message on your dash. Uh, I personally wouldn't mind that. My wife wasn't thrilled with it. Anywho, it's her car, so here we are. So I found this B2B fab offers this jumper harness to bypass uh, the auto start stop function. And it comes with the harness, trim, tool, trim removal tool, and colored instructions. But basically what we're going to do now is we're going to pull out this. There's an electrical connector on the back. We're going to unplug that. We're going to put this in its place, and we're going to put this back in, and that's going to be it. So, um, here we go. Looks like in order to do this, we got to just get this pry tool on this side. It doesn't seem to want to come out very easily. Okay, well, that's... Not the entire piece, that's just the trim. Okay. And it looks like that's what we needed to get out. So that's perfect. And we're gonna disconnect that electrical connector and plug this in its place. So to do that, I'm hoping I can do this one-handed. Um, let's see. basically just this tab right here you're going to depress that pull that out you're going to then take your jumper harness plug that in here until it clicks then you're going to take the other end of that jumper harness plug it back into your trim don't press on when you're doing this you're holding this piece it's very natural to hold it like this and then press try not to do that try and grab it down here if you put too much force up here it's unsupported that could definitely very easily crack so i'm going to set this down here push right there it just clicked in and then you're going to take this and you're going to put it back into its place And clip it back in. And that's it. That easy. So now, if I start this, start stop is deactivated. And I think if we shut this off and turn it back on, it should still be deactivated. So I'm there. Yep, there we go. You just saw that. I didn't press it, it's automatically retaining that setting. Um, and just so you can see, there's no errors, it's deactivated, and it'll permanently be deactivated. So if you don't have, you could also do this with like adaptation and coding in VAGCOM or uh, in OBD11. If you don't have those and you don't want to spend the money on those, uh, this is a good other option to not mess with coding, just simply having this jumper harness 
and to uh, very simply, I think it's like $60 just for, for the harness, the trim tool, and the instructions. And for me, well, for my wife, that's very worth it. For me, I would have just unplugged the two-prong connector on the battery terminal and dealt with the error message, but she doesn't want to look at that. And I can't blame her. It's a new car. I'm just used to looking at error messages, and that's it. But I hope this is helpful. I'll put a link in the description to B2B Fab's website where you can purchase this. Uh, they got it out to me pretty quickly. Um, and quality of the actual harness itself is pretty solid. Uh, so I hope this helps.